Well, as fans are getting wrapped up in the NCAA basketball tournament, another nationwide state versus state tournament will be getting started on Monday night right here on NBC. It is called the American Song Contest. It'll be live, a live eight week competition trying to find the next big hit song. And Oklahoma's got an unexpected act. Mark Barger explains. This soundstage in Hollywood is quiet right now, but come Monday night, I feel alive. it'll spring to life for the start of American Song Contest. It's almost like a, a sports event, you know, like with music. It's, it's amazing, and everybody has a, a team to kind of root for. Kelly Clarkson and Snoop Dogg are co-hosting the live competition, which is modeled after the long-running Eurovision Song Contest. But instead of country versus country, it's every U.S. state and territory competing against each other. America is just full of talent, no matter where you look, no matter what state you go to. There's one act for each state and territory. You represent one. I mean, in anything would be cool for me. Here I am, you know, from Puerto Rico, with a love of proud, representing my music, my country, my people. The competition cuts across a variety of music styles and genres, but the key is they're all singing original songs. I'm here to, you know, bring the funk, bring the blues, bring the soul, and make sure you feel good. It's just a real human being just singing from their, their heart with a real song that, that means something to them. Most of the performers are unknown to America like a K-pop singer from Oklahoma. People were like, oh, so you're not a country singer? And I'm like, no, sir, no, ma'am, I am not. I am a K-pop artist. But some acts are known, like Alaska's Jewel and Connecticut's Michael Bolton. I'll be nervous and excited at the same time. Mainly, I'll be ready. As an eight-week quest begins for best hit song. If I win, I mean, that would just be a dream come true. It'd be everything I've worked for. Someone's work will soon pay off. Mark Barker. NBC News.